New attention being paid to mental stress suffered by Chicago's first responders. WGN's Jenna Barnes is in our newsroom with details on new measures some city officials are proposing to try to help them. Jenna? Yeah, right. And Micah, we often hear about the toll trauma takes on our first responders. And now some aldermen are advocating for a new treatment they believe would reduce the burden of anxiety. Facing a mental health crisis, Chicago police and the city council are exploring alternative treatments for post-traumatic stress disorder. What I'm trying to do is reduce the misery associated with PTSD. My the doctor at the forefront of one of those treatments explaining the impact of his work to the committees on health and human relations and public safety. Dr. Eugene Lipov injects topical anesthetic into nerves in patients' necks to target the fight or flight system. And it turns out when we numb up the nerves in the neck, here and I do it under ultrasound guidance, it seems to reset the system to before trauma level. He says the treatment is used mostly in special forces, but several CPD officers have also received it to combat the toll of trauma in their lives. It made me a better person. It made me a better mother. It made me a better wife. It made me a better police officer. While the treatment did not alleviate my anxiety, it gave me a tremendous amount of room to breathe. It changed my life. The shot is called the SGB, but it's also referred to as the God shot because of its impact. At $1,500 to $2,000 a shot, some aldermen are advocating it be covered by officers' health insurance, a flex spending plan, or even by grants funded by the city council, as the department faces four officer suicides this year alone. I don't know what path I would have gone down. You know, I, I was not suicidal at the time, but I don't know. I might have, you know, veered down that path of darkness because I didn't have any light. The FDA has not approved this drug for PTSD treatment. Can the city of Chicago or can any city advocate for the use of any type of treatment if it's not FDA approved? And some aldermen want to make sure if it's used, it's part of a comprehensive treatment plan. But I think there needs to be a, an understanding that it's also not an end all be all, right? right. Oh, I got my shot, we're great. Advocates are hoping that this treatment is made available to all city employees. This was only the start of the conversation, so we'll keep you posted on where this heads in city council. Ryan Micah. Thank you, Jenna.